Hey there, how's it going? Well, I was worried there for a little while, and to the point of being kind of paranoid, that the dictionary definition of socialism was going to make its way into our government. And, you know, we don't even have socialized medicine yet. You know, we don't even have decent, you know, the good parts of socialist policies making its way into our government. We, we, have, we have safety nets, thankfully. There's a number of things that we have that have tried to regulate capitalism. But uh, we don't really have a number of things that you find throughout Europe. You know, we don't even have those yet. And here I was worried that actual dictionary socialism was making its way into the government. Now, it has made its way into a number of areas. I've talked about that before. But I don't think that Biden is going to actually promote this sort of thing. He might try to pander to the far left once in a while to get votes, but I don't think he's going to pander to them in his policies. And now that we have Kamala Harris as his running mate, I don't think she's going to pander to that either. Especially since the DNC denied the Young Turks a press pass for the convention. So they don't even like the Young Turks, and the Young Turks is pretty milquetoast when it comes to its, um, its progressivism, you know. So, uh, yeah, the DNC isn't even allowing milk toast progressives. The DNC is corporatist. They're barely left. You know? So, yeah, I don't see the DNC pandering to the rioters. I don't see them pandering to the people saying we need to abolish the police or defund the police or do X extreme X to the police. You know, I don't see them pandering to that. I also don't see them pandering to any of the the good things that we could do for the country either. You know, it's sort of... It would be a whole lot of nothing happening and potentially putting us back on track to being in unnecessary wars. Um, I don't trust Biden in that area, but at least they won't be shitting all over the environment and LGBT rights and women's rights. Biden will likely have some people on his cabinet that I don't like, but, you know, as far as him pushing things like the Green New Deal and all of its social justice elements that have nothing to do with the environment you know, crammed in there. I mean, I don't even think hardly any of the parts of the Green New Deal will be able to be passed. So, um, at least they won't be trying to completely dismantle Obamacare. You know, at least, at least we're going to have something. I don't see them, uh, doing huge tax cuts for the rich. I'm kind of glad that Biden chose Harris. You know, it's, it, there's very little chance that this creeping socialism that I've been worried about, dictionary definition of socialism, there's very little chance that that's going to make its way into the government, that, that it's going to make its way into the policies. Very little chance of that. I'm glad that I was just being kind of paranoid. Maybe it was even to the point of being rather schizophrenic. I don't know. But I feel a lot more at ease about the situation now. So, there's that. <laughs>